Hello, tonight we read from the last chapter in Revelations 22, and from Proverbs chapter 9. Chapter 9. Okay, um, go ahead, Proverbs 9. It was just talking about wisdom and how it prolongs your life. And I will say it does prolong your life, but you know, at the end of the day, you don't determine how long your life is. But, you know, when you make wise decisions and you have insight and foresight, you're able to foresee, like, other people's foolishness. Like, um, we probably, I think we already talked about this, but, like, we almost got, like, hit by a car. Like, I guess, like, you anticipated that people, you know, are crazy drivers and they ran a red light and almost hit us. So that was wisdom. And it prolonged our life, thankfully. Because, uh, undoubtedly, we would have been dead. As simple as that. And my mom's wisdom... You know, simple as that. And oh uh, yeah, so it's that's a good um, reminder for me to use wisdom, especially in a era like we're in, like we're living in right now, where anything can happen at any moment, and wisdom can really help me be sharp and focused. Hey, Amen. For my by me, thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. Wisdom is definitely the principal thing and with that is the conclusion of the entire bible like i said i think you were away from school the last time i concluded because like i said it takes 18 months and approximately 18 months ago was uh, midsummer and the Lord saw fit for us to start again. But in Revelations 22, woo, it is really a chapter of hope. And in verse 7, it says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he or she that keepeth my sayings, wisdom, and the prophecy of this book. And before that, it says in verse 1 that he showed me, John was shown the pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb in the midst of the street of it. And on either side of the river was there the tree of life and yielded fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And we know that God provides everything while we're still here, while we are leading up to the return of the Lord, when we go back to our creator, he places things so that we can be continually healed. He provides for us continually. We saw that today, that he puts things in place. And the reason why is because we know that he is the beginning and the end, just like, like we saw Genesis to Revelations, it says, I am Alpha and Omega. I'm the first and the last. Blessed, you are honored. You will see the fruit of the Spirit and the fruit of a blessed life when you do his commandments, that they may have a right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. And then it goes on talking about those who will not partake, the whoremongers and the murderers and the liars and mm -mm, none of that, none of that. I had to, the Lord uh, told me to clear up something with someone today. I said, I didn't even want to have the, the semblance of a lie. And I had to go back with something that happened two years ago. The Lord said, straighten that up. Just make sure, you know, and they're like, oh, what are you talking about? Just make sure. And it's not out of fear, but you just want to have that type of clarity because you don't want anything holding you back. And God will reveal what we need to do. What do you have to say about that, son? Yeah, lying isn't good. Lying isn't it's good. never worth it. Never worth it. Stretching the truth, gray, green. Nah, -uh. just make sure that you are aligned to the Lord's truth and uh, he'll protect, he'll show because... 
you know who's the father of lies. And I said, I don't want anything to do with that. So, mm -mm. surely I come quickly. And that's verse 20. It's talking about uh, something that's quick. Um, the Lord had me go back to uh, my, my aunt, deceased. She passed from cancer many years ago, but for um, a gift, she gave me this. And it's the original streams in the desert. And you see how um, torn up it is. But there was a poem that I remember where it was imploring believers to praise God while you're in a tribulation because it says that, and this is by Ugo Bassi, the sermon in the hospital, because he said, when you get that, that summons, that means time is up and you have been suffering all in life, you're going to be like, oh, wow, so soon, it's too soon. Let me take heed in time that I will be able to go back in life and praise God in my suffering, right? We don't want to have that regret. While we have the time, let God be glorified in every situation that we're in so that we can say from the beginning of our life to the end of our life, God is in control and he has turned out everything for our good, and for his glory. What about you, son? Yeah. So let's take heed because he comes quickly. Enjoy your evening and enjoy all of his precious promises. Good night.